Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just want to say a lot of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe if I suck. So now that being said, I hope you all enjoy the video and I'll see y'all later. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dash and I'm going to be telling y'all my tier list for Apex Legends. Um, all the players, not in any specific order. I might come out with that video pretty soon on, on who I have and what order. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start off tier or the lowest tier here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in Octane. Uh, Octane, you know, they did just give him a buff. He can now use his heal and stem at the same time. Um, that's a lot out of it, however. But that was his buff. He's still the worst player for competitive base, um, in my opinion. And yeah, it's probably never gonna change it's my. I doubt that he will pretty much always be in the last tier just because he's not really a competitive based main. We'll have Mirage. Mirage, you know, really fun character used and can be used in competitive. Seeing, don't get me wrong, he's just going to probably be in the second to last tier here because of his um, his whole team aspect. And that being said, he doesn't really have one. Um, still, Mirage is not a bad player. If you do want to solo, I mean, that is cool. He does get off self reses that can be countered by. Um, Revenant in his little thingy after that buff, I believe the update before this one. But as you see, he still has his uh his thing, and he can stick reses um and go invisible, and that can be a big plays toward the end of the game. Like I said, if you do run Mirage, not a bad run, not a bad play. Really, there's no legend in this game now that's extremely horrible. But I'm just gonna have him in this tier just because he doesn't have that big of a team aspect, and as far as competitive goals. All right now going on to C tier, we are going to start off with Bangalore. Um, I don't think Bangalore got any really big updates besides her Rolling Thunder does take less time now. And I mean that's really big, especially if you want to counter third parties and being able to loot and stuff without actually being shot or, or, or you know somebody coming up and sticking on you, you can always throw her thing and be safe and sound. Um, she does have one of the best alts in the game, so she should be here. Again, not a bad legend to run. She's just going to be in C tier because I believe there are better legends to run, but I don't think anybody's going to get mad if you run any legend in this game anymore because they all have somewhat their specific appeal unless you run Octane or Mirage because those are pretty much solo mains. Um, but like I said, you can use Bangalore Smoke to get out of tough situations or her um, Bombardment. So yes, her core, her uh, cooldown was actually taken down a minute and 30 seconds. That's kind of huge. So yeah, I'm going to have her in C along with uh, some more people. But she is definitely above Mirage and Arcane in my opinion. I feel recharged. Next we're going to have Watson in C tier as well. Watson in C tier um, just because, you know, she is a really, really good legend. She can't use her thing. It, it's too bad it has a timer because if it still didn't have a timer, I'd put her at 1. She can now recently counter, I believe, caustic traps when they're in the air. She can hit them out there and stuff, which is nice. But yeah, so if she didn't have the uh, the uh, timer here, I would put her in one. But since she does have the timer, I'm gonna put her in two. Because it can be really, really nice towards the end game. But as soon as that thing goes out, you know, you can be put in a bad situation. So if you do run Watson, I highly recommend um, running a lot of ultimate accelerants, as you know, she does have that passive. So if you do use her correctly, she should be fine. Um, like I said, you know, pretty solid legend, I'm just gonna keep her in seats here for now because I think there are better legends, but I might move her around just depending on, you know, if my mind changes or not. I know she didn't really get that big of a buff after this next season, uh, only buff that she got was, um, the, uh, that it, you know, hits, uh, caustic traps out the air, so, I mean, that's pretty nice, um, especially in caustic being really OP as he is, so. I guess next up I'm gonna go Pathfinder as well in C tier. Uh, Pathfinder not a bad main. I just wish they'd fix freaking grapple, dude. It's, it's, there's no way that they should take 35 seconds. Um, they should bring it down to about like 25 because I know it was OP when it was, I think it was 15 I believe and that was, that was really fast and you mean you can just get away easily but I mean you're killing this character by not uh, giving him you know any time for his uh, his grapple. He still is a pretty good character to run though if you do end up using the survey beacons. Um, there was a new update though that literally made the other players allowed other players to uh, look at survey beacons so Pathfinder is pretty much becoming um, obsolete. I think he needs a little bit of a rework here uh, for more people to run him. He does still have a zipline and if you do use the survey beacon it now does cool down your zipline which is kind of big I guess in a, in a sense. So. 
it, it's gonna let people hit survey beacons more. But like I said, since there's other characters that can now hit the survey beacon, I mean Pathfinder, he's a pretty decent legend, but I don't think he belongs anywhere above C tier. Moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Lifeline. Lifeline really did get a big buff, so this is why she's gonna be in B tier. And it wasn't a recent buff, I'm talking about the one, you know, that was uh, pretty far, you know, last season. Um, um, still solid, solid all the way around, has a really, really good loadout drop now that can help you a lot. And uh, Yeah, that's why she's gonna be in B. I mean, easy reses too, she also has the, the new shield when you just hold down X. I'm not really new, but... You know what I mean? It's really good, um, and can you know get a lot of late game clutch rises off, which is pretty big. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep her in B. Next in B tier, I'm going to have Bloodhound. Bloodhound just got a bunch of buffs. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through them for you right now. So first, buff of the Bloodhound. He's Beast of the Hunt now gains more duration when he gets a kill. So that means when you have your alt on. Uh, when you hit, you know, LBRB and you go ahead and go into the Beast of the Hunt, when you get a kill, it's going to actually add time, so you will be able to stay in it for longer. Um, so, his all father thing, by the way, does come back twice as fast when you are in the, uh, when you are in the Beast of the Hunt, which is really nice. And the hunt duration also got, you know, extended as well as the all father, um, uh, the the downtime while you're in the beast of the hunt and then the you know the total use time in the beast of the hunt which is really nice so yeah bloodhound got a lot of buffs so for me he's going to be in b tier he is kind of a solo main though he can't help your teammate though from tracking oh, he did get uh buffs on his tracking and stuff as well but as you can see there on the bottom left it only takes six seconds to actually um scan with the uh all father it's really quick uh, he's one of the most fun characters to run, so if you have never ran Bloodhound, I highly recommend you run Bloodhound. Super fun guy, super fun to use. Um, I don't think it works in here, which is unfortunate, but... Well, I think Bloodhound as well can now hit the recons in the, uh, in the thing, in the survey beacons for the storm, which is, uh, another big buff to him, so... I mean, all around, Bloodhound really solid. Uh, can hate the guy, really, really good. Uh, I recommend him. Next in B tier, I'm gonna go ahead and put a Rampart, um, this might be, you know, this one could be questionable. I think if you play Rampart to the best of her ability, she could be an A tier, but that being said, I'm pretty sure the most average, uh, I'm taking the, like, the average of the people, and most people aren't gonna be, um, that great. But as you see, dude, she picks up a Devotion with 40 rounds, and if you get a Turbo Charger, you're basically set, um, yeah, all around really good character. I just don't think that she, uh, she's quite an A tier, especially for competitive matches. But I mean, 55 in the mag for the devotion. I mean, like, I see this in the red. Uh, she is getting faster. But, anyways, um, just, you know, the new character in the game, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop her alt and shoot that through if you haven't seen her already. I'm sure everybody has. Uh, yeah, she's gonna be in B, not really an A for me yet. Um, I could see her being an A if the person plays her, like, perfectly and correctly. because uh, her turret is absolutely insanely overpowered, but a lot of people then, again, are gonna take cover from that turret. Um, but if it is in, like, the open, and you know, she has her, her turret, I mean, what are you doing against that? Absolutely nothing, you die, so. She's B, A, kind of mid-tier. I think she could be A, but right now I'm just gonna keep her in B for, you know, most of the, uh, just for, you know, some reason, so. Next in B tier, guys, we do have Loba, none other than Loba. Loba, the uh, last legend for Rampart, um, did get a huge buff on her black market. It used to be three minutes, now it takes a minute and 30 seconds, so she's gonna be helpful for looting and stuff. Her wristband didn't really get a buff, so I don't really have her, but in a team aspect, I can see her you know, being and being being useful at like towards end games when you can't exactly get to a body to loot or if you just respawn somebody and you need a quick looting. Now that it is down to 90 seconds, people should be looting like crazy with her and you know, you'll have your max guns and everything and such and such. So yeah, Loba, um, gonna be in B, not in A, I don't think she makes the biggest impact out of everybody, so. Um, she's really good though. Um, like I said, you can't really go wrong with any legend anymore in Apex Legends, they're pretty all balanced. Uh, in terms of like competitiveness um, but yeah Loba is going to be in B tier for me 
Now to start off A tier, I'm gonna go ahead and throw Revenant. Revenant has his uh, little cube. Can I hit? Okay. Revenant has his thingies. Um, they're really, really good. I, I don't really know what they're called. I just call them thingies, but you know what I mean. His tactical ability is really good. And then his um, his death totem is one of the best things in the game. Um, they did kind of nerf the death totem because you can't hit a wraith portal two seconds after the death totem. And is that really that big of a buff? I mean, nerf, and yeah, not really speaking, but you, know, you can die in here. It's, uh, it's a really good placement and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, um, can't really complain. I'm gonna be eight tier just because of his death totem and tactical for a lot of things. So, Gibraltar in eight tier. Um, Gibby in eight tier is probably gonna be controversial because I know he has been recently getting a lot of nerfs and they're trying to nerf and they're trying to get people to stop playing him but there's a reason people keep playing him is because he really can't be beaten one on one with his um you know his damage because of his uh profiling it's really nice you know that reduced damage uh makes it really really hard for people to play him you know, main and you know that turret always clutch Gibster, so he's still going to be an A tier. He does have one of the best alts in the game as well as defensive bombardment, you know, which sometimes now it doesn't get called. I don't know why, but it's never seen that, so yeah, he is going to be there. He still is pretty good. And now for next, the right choice. Next, I have Wraith. Um, Wraith is one of those characters you can put in A or B. I know a lot of people probably, you know, I, I, I'm talking about the best of the best here when I say top of the have the crop on her at perfection uh, character you know people use the uh, teleporter really well um, I don't think she got any really um, buffs nerfs my bad I, I didn't read that um, she, her all actually got increased to 3.5 minutes instead of 2.5 minutes that is kind of a actually pretty big nerf there uh, for the Wraith main that kind of blows it is gonna lack uh, transportation so depending on where you stand she could be B tier or A tier um, don't really know how people are gonna play her uh, if she is at 3.5, but I think her portal can still do the job of getting you to cover positions. I think people will probably carry more ultimates as a wraith main, which you know can be uh, decisive to put her in B tier. But for me, I think she's gonna still stay in A just because I think her portal is really good and she's one of the most fun characters to run in this game anyway, despite you know them trying to uh, reduce her. her you know, so yeah, she's still gonna be there for me. Um, let me know in the comments if you're not right. Um, you know, I think she, she could go B or, or A or, you know, or C. Uh, yeah. Alright, next we have Crypto and A tier Crypto. Um, one of the most overpowered characters right now. Crypto just got a thing where his surveillance drone can now find the next storm, which is absolutely insane to use, and it can be extremely. You can't exactly get to the survey beacon, so you just keep going and you can find where the next storm is. Crypto also have a, a really, really good um, uh His drone also did just get a buff with the HP. Now it is 60, so all those annoying ass crypto drones, there's probably just going to be more of them. A lot more, especially in the higher ranked games, crypto being extremely tactical and extremely fun to use. Um, like I said, it's um, but, I mean, it, it can't make the guy worse. So he's going to be an A tier for me for sure this season. Um, I've had a lot of, you know, uh, people saying, you know, crypto could be A tier. Just depending on people play him, he can be bad, he can be good. But I mean, at this point, I think he is buffed enough to where he is in A tier. I mean, regardless of who's running him. So now the best character still in the game in my opinion it is going to be Kostik at tier. Um, Kostik you know extremely beefy and his gas is probably the most annoying thing um, I think the only tough thing really that came with Kostik is um, or the only semi nerf is that the Watson things do shoot his things if they are in the air now um, which you know can be, can be um, how that how that works and how that plays out, but yeah, I still think Kosh is the best player in the game, um, or in A tier anyway. If you can't agree that he's not the best player in the game, a A tier player for sure. Um, 
he's also, you know, he's got the same thing as the Balter the Beef thing. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that, but yeah, he's still in the nature for me. As always, guys, that is my tier list, including Rampart. Sorry that I didn't have a picture. It's just going to be in words up there. But if you want to screenshot it, send it to your friends. Um, send them over to my way that I'm watching the video as well. Um, let me uh, say thank you all for watching. As always, make sure to hit the like button and comment what you think about the video. Uh, it's been your boy Dashner, and I'll see you all later. No, you're not going. You're not leaving.